them down. I'm talking about freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame. Woo! It's breakfast with Bob. Hey, Pacho Man. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob, day five. We're brought to you by Hoka Polar You Can Velo Fix, Normatechactive.com, Canyon. Form goggles, Amp Human. Our championship edition will be at Four Seasons Resort, Hualalai. Our next guest, only one of the best photographers on the planet. His name is James Mitchell. How about a round of applause for James? Thank you How very you doing, much. Bud? I'm well, thank you, Bob. Uh, Pleasure to be here. It's amazing. So, who's this guy? This is uh, Big Earl. Big Earl. Uh, yeah, 200 millimeter beast. Uh, he'll be out on the Queen K. You'll be getting some shots Tomorrow, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So the the journey to become a photographer. You were a, you were an Ironman guy. You've done a Lanzarote. What five yeah. Ironmans? Did five Iron distances in total. Yeah, uh, Lanzarote three times. It's my home race. I live there. Oh, you live so, in Lanzarote. Yeah, yeah. And so, what got you into this? Were you in other sports before? My background was marketing, but um, I ended up picking up a camera in Lanzarote back in 2003. Yeah. Shooting Lanzarote Ironman 2005. Which is such a spectacular place to shoot. It is, and I had no idea about it at all, even though I lived on the island. And um, I went to shoot it based on that. I was supplying some photos for a local magazine, and I got a free T-shirt. You got a T-shirt? Yeah, I got a T-shirt. You're in. I I was in, and that was it, hooked. I was just mesmerized by... Just the athleticism of all these guys, and I was just, every year I just went back, and then by 2010 was uh, the official photographer for for Ironman Lanzarote. But then I got hooked into competing, and I p- competed for four years. Oh, so you're shooting first, and then shooting first, and then ditch the camera to compete. And so I competed three times Lanzarote, and then, as everyone knows, the bank balance starts to go like this. Ah, uh, yeah. And so I picked up the camera again, and then. Started again shooting, there. yeah. And what is it about? It's funny because there's a lot of a lot of video out there, but there's something about an image. When I, especially I look at this event with, you know, Iron War and with, you know, with uh, different athletes at the finish line, Blaze Man crawling across the line. Just those images that you freeze in time. Yeah, there's just something special, right? Yeah, totally special. Um, and even more special when you get that moment, you get you catch that moment, and it's published. Yes. Whether it's now it's on the web, now it's on Instagram, but when uh, last year, both um, both champions published my images, and yeah, it's just something special about that. Right. Very now, special. And you're associated with uh, Lucy Charles Barkley. I am. You've been shooting. When did you first meet Lucy? Because she has not been in the sport very long. She hasn't. So I got tipped off about Lucy. I think it was just after she won her age group. At I am it was the first time when she did in right. Bolton. Yeah. Um, and a friend tipped me off and said, Lucy's coming over to Lanzarote to train. Maybe you should hook up get some photos so the the last three years she, every time herself and reese have come over to to train i've just hooked up with them done some shots and then it's just progressively got busier and busier and busier and then this year it's pretty much a full-time job it's become a full-time job it's right nice, just following yeah. lucy yeah just following lucy yeah I, I mean her commitments uh are just insane so you leave lines around wherever she goes you're shooting pretty much yeah yeah how fun is that? It's happened? a great job. <laughs> it is a great job. Yeah. And you've been able to chronicle a woman's career who nobody knew. No. So she comes here and gets second first time and then gets second again. Yeah. How did that not just change her life, but change you in terms of people demanding or looking for your images? No, absolutely. You know, even this week, you know, there's so many brands like Red Bull, of course, yes. and uh, the Roka and Specialized. They're all, they're all wanting the images. Everyone's wanting the images. She's she's hot property at the moment, so right. and so marketable, and such a lovely girl as well. She's very special. Yeah. Uh, some of your favorite shots were, were they from here, from Lanzarote? Where where have you? Where do you find your the best imagery? The problem is I have is I'm indecisive, <laughs> so I even have trouble posting images of Lucy on on Instagram purely because I don't know which which image to post. Because they all she's, look great. But yeah, to, to you, they don't. They to, are. Uh, yeah, and Lucy is such a dream to work for. You know, ninety-five percent of my images with Lucy are her training. Right. Like we have to do like a sort of small commitments for certain brands, but the rest is like training. And I just work around her, and she's she just gets like on with the you're training. You're invisible. She just yes. she wants you. She's just doing her thing, and you're following. Yeah, I'm pretty much a second husband. <laughs> <laughs> People have said. Yes. And actually got a third. We've got uh, Paz, who's a PR, uh, PR manager as well. Right. A daily PR manager. So, who's been brought on. so 
her life has changed so much from just being Lucy over training in Landra to now she's an international star. Yeah, nice. Red Bull can with her with her image on there and it's it's a million I think it made a million cans to start out. So it's it's changed a lot. It's it's something special, yeah. And and she's so down to earth and you know, the the pressure that she must have. I mean she just seems to lap it up. Right. She's so relaxed, so chilled. Like I would be going into this race tomorrow, I'd be in panic mode probably right. but yeah she just seems to to lap it all up so when you came here for the was the when you came here with lucy was that the first time you were here no my first year was last year yeah oh, here on the island yeah wow yeah and so I, you weren't here for her first race here no i uh, actually last year i shared I, I roomed with another champion a world champion who's on today thomas hellregal who's okay a, who's a good friend of mine and uh, he trains down in lanzarote a lot. right so last year was my uh, sorry yeah last year was my first year here and what were your impressions? Well, I did a week in Sydney before and then came straight here and my head was all over. So I was, it's just surreal. I mean, it's surreal just sat here chatting to yourself as well. Um, you see everything on the web, on live stream, and then you come and see it. You know, everything's not as big as I think you should think it is. You know, right. It's a little uh, town. It is a little town. Yes. It's amazing. And it's not a massive finishing line either. It's no. like everything's kind of shrunk down so when you're watching on live stream two years ago and this gal who you've been shooting is leading the most important race on the planet what yeah. are you thinking well i'm gutted to have missed it yeah um but i'll make sure i didn't miss it the following year you know exactly and I'll, I'll be in while she'll be on the top of the podium tomorrow where will you be shooting um well tomorrow i'm shooting with red bull so there's me and uh, uh a kiwi photographer gray murray a great photographer and we've got a plan after here, we're going to plan where we're going to be. Right. How has photography changed in the last few years since you got going? <coughs> is it is it more equipment, more people playing with their images more? What's, what do you see as the biggest change? The biggest change is social media. You know, everyone's, even myself, uh, you know, it's so easy to get your iPhone out. I, mean, I just did an right. iPhone shot now, like on, yes. on my social, on Instagram. Right. You know, it's just so easy. And, and the quality as well, you know, you get an iPhone whatever it is the latest iPhone one 40 yeah yeah the quality is uh, is amazing so but you know it doesn't take away from the images you need for commercial uh publicity i don't know if you've seen my image on the ceramic speed yes uh yeah yeah there's like a big banner of lucy there that we shot that was from south africa you know i shot that off the side of a motorbike um certainly couldn't do that with your iphone and, and blow it up no. to this size so does it get old seeing your, you know, your, you see your image blown up gigantic like that? No, I love it's it. It's pretty cool, I love huh? It, yeah, it's so cool. It is. It's so it is. cool. Um, and actually, I didn't realize Ceramic Speed had actually published that. Uh, they got the, the images, but I didn't know they'd done the, a big banner. So to see it uh, the other day when Lucy was visiting there, and we've got Lucy in front of it, you know, it's just, it is it's special. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, one thing to shoot action, but I think you shot her wedding, too. I shot a wedding, yeah. Yeah, so that's a different pressure, so right? That, that's not like pressure. you can do take two on that. Well, in my previous life, I was a wedding photographer. Oh, okay. I did offer Patrick Langer a, a, a gig as well, but uh, he had another guy. But yeah, my background is, is wedding photography over in the Canaries. Yes. So it was... Okay, so it's right in your wheelhouse. It was... And I'd, I've kind of stopped doing it now because a wedding always seems to coincide with a race these days. So if it's a weekend, there's a there's a race somewhere. Yeah, and we did we did a special shoot with Lucy. So we she was getting married last December. It was in the UK, pretty much guaranteed to be bad weather. Uh, Lucy and Reese both met at a swimming club many years ago, and um, we decided to do like an underwater photo shoot. And we yeah. used the the Olympic dive pool at the Aquatic Centre in London, and we did some images under the water. Which, was, which came out cool. really nice, yeah. That's very cool. I'll have to publish them again on, and so people can see. Well, I'm excited to see your shots. And thank you for your shots from Roderick Sewell this week. No, and pleasure. one of our challenge athletes who's participating, double above knee amputee. He's hoping to finish here. He's a very special young man. Yeah, I hope to see him out there. You, yeah, yeah, he's a great your, guy. Great your swimming guy. shots are pretty awesome. Oh, great. And shooting in this water, uh, is, is that the coolest place you've shot underwater? It's, it's a, you know, the sea, the sea's warmer than a swimming pool. You know, it's great right. to get in there. Uh, it was a little bit murky the day we went in, but it's, it's such a, a nice place when you get the palm trees on the, the, above the water right. as well. Do you do underwater for this race or no? No, this, I'd love to, but there's a lot of hassle getting in, getting I'm out. Sure. And 
And then you got to get out on the bike and kick yeah, everything else. Exactly, yeah. Love it. James, thanks for taking time. A pleasure, pleasure, Bob, a pleasure. to get to chat. Thank you for all the support. Thank you very much. James Mitchell, everybody. Pacho, man. Take us out. Her mind was a hot flash that night. Her face still focused in the mind. I'm talking about freeze frame, freeze frame, freeze frame. Woo! Breakfast with Bob. Pacho, man. Tequila! <laughs> Tequila.